One of the really cool things that Active Directory keeps track of is the operating system version and service pack for every computer that's in the directory. Uh, it updates this information each time a computer actually authenticates to the directory. Now, looking at that and thinking that, wow, Active Directory keeps track of that too, maybe Active Directory is also keeping track of what users are logging onto each computer and that would be great. It's probably one of the most commonly asked questions that I get at classes and conferences. Unfortunately, Active Directory doesn't. And without Active Directory keeping track of that information, well, there's really no other central place where that information could be logged. So if your goal is to figure out what user last logged on to a particular workstation or, or to see a list of all the users that are logged on to a particular workstation, you're going to have to create that functionality yourself and come up with a central place to put it. Now one way would simply be to write some text files to a shared folder someplace. So what I've done here in my documents folder is created a script called logon.vbs. This code is also in the article that accompanies this video and it's simply going to pull out the current user's name, the computer name, and write a text file to a shared location that has the computer name and the username as the file name. Uh, that way you can actually use Explorer's file searching functionality to locate a particular computer name or username. I'll write the current timestamp to that file so that I could potentially write another script to go through them, find old ones, and clean them up. So to actually make this happen, I'm going to have to go into the Group Policy Management Console. Um, I'm just going to edit my default domain policy, and I'm going to have to add a logon script. So I just browse to that particular script, and let's see, I put that in my Documents folder, and I don't need to feed it any parameters. Now in Windows Server 2008 and earlier, this is probably going to be a VB script, which is why I wrote it the way I did. In an environment that has PowerShell version 2 deployed to all of your client computers, uh, you could use PowerShell as a logon script as well, and Windows Server 2008 R2 comes with a group policy template that would let you do that. So once I've applied this, I'm also going to ideally want to write a second script, and again, the code is in the article that uh, accompanies this video, and the second script would be a log off script so that when the user logs off, it goes and deletes that file. Um, the reason I still might want to have a script go through and clean those things up automatically is simply because some people are going to shut their machines off without logging off, so that log off script won't run all the time. Of course, if you've got tools that are allowing you to manage your logon scripts uh, a little bit more effectively and do more stuff, you're going to have more capabilities for doing things like this. But if you need to build it manually, those are the steps that you're going to have to go through.